the cryptocurrency industry is riddled with jargons and terms that are frequently interchanged, such as tokens versus coin. As a result, no one will throw you in jail for not understanding the difference. Even well-known industry professionals and authors frequently use both terms interchangeably. But in this video, we will explain to you that there is a technical difference between a crypto token versus coin. Let's dive right in. What is a crypto token? Any digital asset developed on the blockchain is referred to as a token. It's generally produced or minted on a distinct blockchain and is commonly found with numerous other tokens from other projects. Anyone may simply generate a crypto token by writing a number of computer codes or utilizing automated tools. Simply put, although a cryptocurrency's token can act as a form of payment, its primary purpose is to be used within a blockchain's platform wider ecosystem. In many cases, cryptocurrency tokens are created to foster user interaction and innovation within a network's community. The most common platform for cryptocurrency tokens is Ethereum. Most cryptocurrency tokens are designed to power decentralized applications, dApps, on the Ethereum blockchain. What is a crypto coin? A coin is a cryptocurrency with its own blockchain that it works on. It is also known as the blockchain's native token and is frequently used by projects to pay transaction fees while developing their apps on the same network. Building a blockchain needs a significant amount of human and financial resources, millions of pounds. Therefore, not everyone can create a coin. Some cryptocurrency coins, such as Bitcoin, are limited to their supply. Their value is, therefore, influenced by the basic principles of supply and demand. On the other hand, anyone may design a crypto token and name it whatever they like. For example, LOL can be a crypto token. What is the difference between coins and tokens? You might be able to distinguish some of the distinctions between crypto coins and tokens based on the definitions we've explained. However, we'll highlight them a bit more so you can see what we're talking about. Tokens lack a native blockchain, whereas coins have a native blockchain. Because a token is based on an existing blockchain, it is less expensive to manufacture than a coin, which needs its own blockchain. When a project creates its own blockchain and migrates its tokens to the new blockchain as coins, tokens can eventually become coins. Binance Coin, BNB, Tron, TRX, and Zilliqua, ZIL, which were formerly tokens on the Ethereum network, are examples of successful migration. Coins are generally used as a payment cryptocurrency, whereas tokens may be used for a number of purposes. Let's explain to you some of the classifications of crypto tokens. Security tokens. These tokens are digital assets that are used to represent traditional assets. Some security tokens, for example, represent firm shares or bonds that are issued to raise cash for investors. Asset-backed tokens. These are tokens that represent assets in the real world, such as a piece of real estate or tokenized copies of gold held in a vault. The issue of these assets allows them to be exchanged without the need for a physical transfer of the underlying commodity. NFTs, non-fungible tokens. These are tokens that are primarily used as collectors. NFTs may be made for practically anything, including art, baseball, virtual real estate, and even tickets, amongst other things. We have a video on the channel based entirely on NFTs if you want to check it out to learn more about them. Stable coins, tokenized money. These are crypto tokens that represent digital equivalents of fiat currencies. They're generally linked to an underlying currency at one-to-one, -one, so they're always redeemable for the same amount. USD coin, USDC, Tether, USDT, and Gemini dollars, GUSD, are all popular examples. Going by the differences between tokens versus coins, the following cryptocurrencies qualify as coins. Bitcoin, BTC, Ether, F, Litecoin, LTC, Monero, XMR, Tron, TRX, Binance Coin, BNB, Cardano, ADA, Solana, Sol, Polkadot, DOT, Terra, Luna, Phantom, FTM, VeChain, VAT, and a plethora of other crypto coins. We'll use Ether, F, and Binance Coin, BNB, to further illustrate how crypto tokens differ from crypto coins. Ether, F, is a cryptocurrency and the Ethereum blockchain's native token. It is the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization and is mostly used to pay network fees by developers and other network participants. 
The Ethereum blockchain, on the other hand, allows developers to build their own tokens on top of the network using the ERC-20 standard. As a result, each token produced on Ethereum is correctly referred to as a token rather than a coin. Ether, ETH, the Ethereum network's native cryptocurrency, is the rightful owner of the coin title. The basic attention token, BAT, is an excellent example of an ERC-20 token on Ethereum. The brave browser creators utilize BAT as a utility token to allow users to earn money by watching advertisements and advertisers to pay for ad space on the browser. Chainlink, Link, Tether, USDT, Wrapped Bitcoin, WBTC, DAI, DAI, Compound, Comp, and many other ERC-20 tokens exist on Ethereum. BNB, issued by Binance Exchange, was first released on the Ethereum network in 2017 as an ERC token. Following its launch in 2018, Binance moved the token to its own blockchain, Binance Chain. As a result, it was given the name Binance Coin. Today, BNB is used to pay transaction fees by engineers working on the Binance Smart Chain. Wrap BNB, WBNB, Pancake Swap Token, Cake, Planet, PLNT, and other tokens are presently available on the Binance Smart Chain. Finding out if a cryptocurrency has a blockchain or not is a simple method to tell the difference between crypto coins and tokens. If a coin has a blockchain, it is a coin. If it does not, it is a token. Knowing this will help you utilize the terminology appropriately in writing or when discussing with others about Bitcoin assets. Which is better to create? It is up to each project team to decide which sort of cryptocurrency is best to produce. The availability of open source code makes creating a new blockchain much easier. Designing a new blockchain to overcome the technological constraints of current blockchains, on the other hand, takes a lot of time and work. In the cryptocurrency market, tokens established on current blockchain networks play a crucial role. There are numerous projects with significant market capitalizations that do not have their own blockchains. Finally, the largest advantage of establishing a new currency and a new blockchain over a new token using an existing blockchain is that it may be less reliant on other teams for frequent technological updates. The difference between token and coin isn't vast, but it can cause a major headache if frequently overlooked. One quick way to decide which one you should use is to pay attention to what you're buying. If it's a product, most often, you would need coins. If it's a service, then there are usually tokens you can use. No one would put you in jail for not knowing the difference between tokens and coins. Nonetheless, we hope that the information presented in this video has provided you with a better knowledge of the subject and that you will no longer confuse tokens for coins or coins for tokens.